Hi, my name is David, and today I'll be taking through this week's question and answer session from us here at Nova Systems. Thanks for watching. So I've got my assembly, and I want to section it, but I still want to see the internal components. Now, if I just click the section tool, it by default will cut through everything, meaning that I don't get to see the internal, I just sort of get this little blue face on everything that's cut. Now I can simplify this by using the selected components tool. Now you can either choose to exclude specific components, in which case I can pick those components that I still want to see. Or, and I personally think it's a little bit simpler, is to clear everything and just to include, to include specific components in the cut. So I can just choose the outer case components. and then choose the fixings just to make them disappear. Once I've selected all my components, I can then save this as a view so I can come back to it later. So I have my section view and once I've left the section, if I hit the spacebar and bring up my orientation, I can go back to my internal component view. These views can then be used on drawings, dimensioned out, and then used later on uh, in manuals if you require. If you want to create a view which cuts away just a, a corner section, unfortunately you can't use this command because it will cut the selected components with each plane that cuts through them. But what we can do is use uh, an assembly level cut and then some configurations in order to show the cutaways appearing and disappearing into our model. So this is another way to show the internal components while doing a cutaway view. So we take our, our assembly, put a cut through it and then save that as a secondary configuration. Again we can use these configurations in drawing views uh, and in other documentation. Thank you very much for watching.